Fake social media influencers like Mila Sofia and Adriana Lopez are creating huge buzz. Many creators are now focusing on creating AI influencers. You will find tons of videos on creating an AI influencer model with AI. All of the videos are pretty much the same. In today's video, I am going to introduce an AI tool that can be the best assistant on your AI influencer creation journey. And the most fun fact is, it's 100% free. We can definitely create images for our influencers with any AI image generator. But the main challenge comes when generating consistent character. Without consistent character, you cannot think about an influencer. Previously we generated images with an image generator and then swapped faces with another AI tool. That's really a time-consuming task and often the results are not up to the mark. Another way is to train your custom model. But it takes a huge time and a Gantt hardware. To solve all of these issues, I found a tool called Focus. Focus uses Stable Diffusion's Juggernaut model. You can call it Stable Diffusion and Mid-Journey Combo. If you have a highly configured PC with a GPU, then you can install it on your PC. You will find the Checkpoint installer on Hugging Face or GitHub. If you don't have a GPU on your PC, don't worry, you can use it on Google Collab Notebook. Open your browser and search for Focus Collab. After getting the search result, click on the first link. This is the Focus Club Notebook. First of all, come to the right corner of the page and click on the connect button from here to connect with GPU. After establishing the connection, click on the run button from here. It will take some time to download all of the assets. Once it is completed, you find a link named running on public URL. Click on the link. It will redirect you to the Guardio Live webpage. This is your image generation tool. It will work for 72 hours if you don't close the collab notebook or disconnect the GPU. Alright, let's have a look at the interface. At the top, it's the preview panel. Here you will find the generated images. After that, this is the prompt box, where we have to enter the prompt. At the bottom, you will find two checkboxes. Input image and advance. Let's click on the advanced checkbox. You will notice some advanced settings on the right side. First, in the Settings tab, you will find Aspect Ratio, you can generate images in every possible aspect ratio. Then Number of Images, and after that, the negative prompt. Here you can enter what you don't want in your image. And in the last, you will find the seed. And in the top of the tab, you will find Image Quality Performance. After that, in the Style tab, you can select the image style. There are more than 200 styles available here. You can select from here. As we want to generate realistic images so, I only add focus photography and others will remain the same. Alright, next, in the model tab, you can select base model, refine model, and LoRa. As we ran it on Google Collab and we didn't insert any checkpoint, LoRa, or refine model, so we can't change it now. But if you want to add you can do it. Okay, in the last, the advanced tab, here you can set the guidance scale and image sharpness scale. Alright, let's generate some images. Come to the prompt box and then enter the prompt. For example, I am entering beautiful lady, light freckles, big smile, blue eyes, pink hair, hyper detailed photography, soft light, portrait, realistic. After entering the prompt, hit the generate button from here. Now the AI will start generating the images. You will able to show the process. It will take some time to generate our images. Here you can see the images. Focus generates four images for us and the quality of the images is incredible. Now you have to select one image as your model. You may notice, it generates four images, which are pretty similar but have different faces. To solve this issue, we will use the input image option. Click on it. You will find options for image uploading. You have to just drag and drop your model images. Oh sorry, I have made a mistake. There are four different options. The first one is for upscale or making variations of an image. You have to come to the second option, the image prompt. After coming to the image prompt tab, you will notice four image uploader boxes. Drag and drop your model image on one of them. Now you will notice an advanced checkbox at the bottom of the page. Click on it. Now you will find some new options under the image. Select face swap from here. There are some parameters here. You can play around with them to get a better result. At this time, I will skip it. Okay, now hit the generate button. 
And here are our results. You can see that it generates two images with the same face. In this way, you can generate unlimited images with the same face. Alright, let's talk about another interesting feature. If you want to generate images in a particular pose, maximum time it's not possible with the prompts. But you can do it with focus. For example, I want to generate images like this one. You have to upload this image on the image prompt image box. After uploading the image, select the Pyrocanny option from here. After that, hit the generate button. And here is the result. You can see that the pose is like the second image but the face is the same as the first image. Isn't it a great feature? Let me know in the comments section. If you are enjoying the video hit the like button and if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button. Alright, now let's play around with some prompts. And here is our result. All of the images have similar faces to our model face. Okay, now another question, is it possible to insert or draw any elements to any image? The answer is yes. For example, I want to draw a necklace on her neck. Come to the in paint or out paint tab from here. Now drop the image here and then draw an area where you want to paint something. After that, enter the description here. After all is set, hit the generate button. And here is the result. That's really impressive. In this way, you can generate unlimited images for your AI influencer model without spending a single bucks. In the next part of this video, I will share the method of creating videos for an AI influencer model. It will be not just using deep fake technology, but generating original video with a consistent character. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with generating consistent character images for fake influencers with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!